Ever wondered what goes on in a pharmacy late at night? Well, apparently it's wilder than you think. Egyptune published this creepy video in January of 2015. It's footage that will make you swear off pharmacies for a good long while. The green hue and flashing monitor on the desk are spooky enough to set the scene. Then the action begins. A white chair in the office starts to move all of its own accord, jerking to the left, then being lifted right up into the air before landing back down on the floor. It pulls slowly to the right, then yanks to the left again. A little later, something gaseous spurts out below, leaving black marks in the footage. Some in the comments of the video say this footage has been edited, or suggest the chair is being jerked around with strings. But maybe, just maybe, someone wasn't given the right prescription, and his ghost is seeking revenge. I, for one, hope he gets it. YouTubers Casadores de Sombras investigate the spirit of the old Macubero in this scary video. While exploring the spirit's lair, they are startled by an unexplained sound. Oh, oh! Yeah. Up, As they're investigating the matter, another noise is heard in the next room. Oh, aí, mano, aí, ó. Quebrou aqui o vidro, aqui, ó. Quebrou, aí, que quebrou o vidro. But again, nothing. They then do some type of ritual involving dropping a chain in a well, presumably to call up the spirit, and the ritual is successful. Shortly after, the spirit shows itself. Is this the old Macubero? Whatever this spirit is, I'm pretty sure it's not friendly. When two strangers pull up to your boat on the Nile, you have to assume the worst. This area is known for pirates. They cast a line and tie themselves to the ship in preparation to board. Oh dear lord. The one in white reaches down and then back turns, stands up while holding something. Alright guys, look for art. Does anyone see an energy in there? He reaches back into his pocket and pulls out nothing but towels. As it turns out, this area is full of traveling salesmen too, even at sea. Still, I think they probably should have ran for help as soon as they thought these could be pirates, instead of recording in plain sight and making themselves an easy target. This living log of organisms looks like it's covered with oysters, but it's not. Look between the shells to see hundreds, if not thousands, of plump yellow sea worms. And here you can see some of them appear to be living inside of the shells. I probably wouldn't go anywhere near something so oddly colored because they look potentially poisonous. Someone please confirm if my suspicions are correct. A YouTuber named S. Zacharia is exploring a construction site when he comes across a peculiar hole in the ground that somehow feels off. He is curiously poking around with a stick when an anguished voice calls out to him from below, followed by a strong underground wind. This part definitely sounds like a person crying out for help. Soon their cries are replaced by another sound, this one much different than the first. I don't think human vocal cords could ever produce the noises that follow. A final moan is soon drowned out by the chorus of supernatural screeches. Is this person being tormented by evil spirits, or is he himself becoming one of them? Tim, John, and Ben are going to explore a house in the back of the woods that is rumored to be where a clan of worshippers do all kinds of rituals. They wander around in the woods for a while until a rickety white house rises from the darkness. Inside, warnings are spray painted all across the walls in big dark letters, but they do not heed them and press on. 
Tim, John, and Ben take turns breaking stuff and jumping out at each other. But suddenly, the three become very serious and quiet when they find a dungeon-like basement that leads straight down. The dark area smells extremely foul, and they cover their nose and mouths with their shirts to lessen the stench. The only thing down there besides them are two dolls hanging by their necks. Or at least that's what they think. Suddenly, all three of them are running from what sounds like a creature with a low, throaty growl. Okay, you gotta go. If this noise is real, then it almost has to be the end result of a terrible ritual that none of us are brave enough to see. Who's there? Your worst nightmare. Posted by Deadhead Gillies to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor says there's something knocking in the walls, and we don't have to take her word for it because she has video proof. It sounds like someone is knocking insistently at the door, only there's no one there. She says this has continued for two months. She's not the only one to have had such an experience. Redditor Ritual Maniac writes in the comments that the same knocking pattern occurred at a house she once lived in, along with other paranormal happenings like voices, doors opening, running, etc. When they moved everything, including the nightmares and unexplainable bad feelings, all vanished. The Redditor says this knocking wasn't heard initially and just started happening randomly as of late. At one point, when her boyfriend lived there, he even heard laughing and whispering. The Redditor said after sending the videos to her grandmother, a pastor was supposed to come and visit. But of course, an ongoing event began earlier this year and prevented that. Some in the comments think it's the pipes, others say it's likely a pesky animal, but myself and many others are leaning towards the paranormal. Game of Onions writes, Let him in already. Must be cramped in there. But I wouldn't take that advice. Do you hear that? Airy Safari 13 and their friend hear a mysterious knocking on the door of the laundry room. Listen again. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? That's not a washing machine. That's knocking. They go to the door and there's nothing there as far as I can tell, but that doesn't mean there isn't a ghost in the hallway haunting them. When they go up to the door, it stops, but that just makes this TikTok video even scarier in my opinion because it's like the ghost is messing with them. A forest and nighttime is a terrible combination. That's what these men find when they set out into the area jungle in the darkness. Facebook user Kaisa Sharam shared this video of a peaceful walk through the moonlit forest. Just kidding. This is anything but peaceful. A couple minutes into the footage, a man points out something lurking amongst the trees. Similar to another entry in this list, it appears like a woman with long black hair dressed in white. They keep their distance, only pointing out the figure to the camera. Later, they follow her into an abandoned building. Her long hair disappears around a corner. When they turn the corner, she's vanished. They search through the dark building, but don't cross paths with her again. That is, until they enter the dark and expansive forest, they spot a strange figure. It's not the woman, but appears to be something wrapped in a white sheet. When the man approaches to peer inside, the thing moves. What is it? Could it be some sort of ceremonial figure? Left to these men by the dark-haired witch? Whatever it is, it bows to the man again as he probes it and then walks away. What do you think this might be? What's inside? I don't think I would unwrap this gift. This CCTV footage shows a young woman hurrying down a flight of steps, only to find something waiting for her at the bottom of the stairwell. The shadowy figure turns towards her, and if you look closely, you can almost make out the circular white outline of a face. She bolts away and the apparition quickly pursues. If this video is real, then nobody knows what happened next, or if she even survived. Years ago, I analyzed a video of a giant humanoid creature seen roaming the desert in Portugal 
Portugal. Well, new evidence of the creature is making fresh rounds on the internet, and this photograph supposedly shows what it eats, which unfortunately is us. A strong looking man with a crew cut and fatigues is no match against this creature, as it pulls him towards its open maw. He is not wearing civilian clothing. If anything, his outfit matches those worn at the special ops base where the original video was taken. All of the finer details of the creature seem to match as well. The dramatic bend of the back leg compared to the more developed upper arms, its cone-like head, its unnatural slouch are all there, and according to this picture, it's apparently a cyclops creature as well. Of course, there's a good chance that this is photoshopped. If it was real, I think that there would be an accompanying video, or at least more than one picture. If anything, for the sake of the person about to be devoured, I really hope this isn't real. A redditor named Stalker the Zone seems like he is in a real hurry as he records a wheelchair at the hospital. He is definitely waiting for something to happen, but I get the feeling he doesn't want to get caught by anyone using his phone, so maybe this is his place of work. Come on. Just when he is about to give up, the wheelchair comes to life and moves on its own. His vindication gives way to horror when he realizes the wheelchair is turning his way. See? See, I fing don't no 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 I guess someone off screen could be pulling the wheelchair towards them, but my understanding is that wheelchairs are fairly heavy, and any wire that could pull it would also be thick enough to see on video. A person is walking through the forest when a strong feeling of paranoia guides them to this moss-covered opening. They can sense something odd is near, but only when watching the video later do they realize how close it really was. A broad face with a wild flat nose and open mouth stares back at them. This is a troll caught on camera, says the internet, but the alleged troll sighting looks more like a natural formation in the bark so I can't say that I agree. When a Shadow Welcomes You, Run and Hide, published by Polish Paranormal TV in October of 2021, this scary video explores a haunted place in Poland. Upon entering, the team uses a spirit box as they head up the stairs. Right away, the spirits start speaking. According to a translation, the spirit says either I'm here or welcome here, but how welcome are they? Later, while walking down a hallway, a shadowy figure is spotted leaning against the door frame. You can see it more clearly in slow motion. Do you see it? If you do, this figure will haunt your eyes for eternity. A YouTuber named Austin Shippy is using the Ouija board with a friend. They apparently make contact, but it's not necessarily the spirit's answers that make this video haunting, but rather the strange sounds that kept coming from the background. It seems like every time they ask a question, something weird happens in the background. Perhaps the weirdest moment of all comes at the very end of the video, when they are ready to leave. Thank you very much for talking to us. Goodbye. There is no reason for the pointer to squeak like that. They are on a smooth surface and are not pushing down hard at all. The historical Winchester Mystery House was basically built to be a nightmare. The Queen Anne-style Victorian mansion in San Jose, California was the personal residence of heiress Sarah Winchester, who started building it in 1886 and didn't stop until her passing in 1922. Not having a master plan, the enormous mansion features such oddities as secret passageways, staircases to nowhere, and hidden rooms. The home is said to be haunted. Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit by Resident Science 525 this scary video may have captured one of them. The footage shows a short staircase leading up to an exit in the Winchester Mystery House. As the camera pans for a moment, a semi-transparent figure moves past the staircase. 
the Redditor writes that there are no windows or air vents in the hallway and no reflective surfaces. So what is this? Or should we say who? A UFO appears to burn in midair as it stalls directly over Area 51 in front of plenty of witnesses. I think this video is probably CGI because the smoke almost looks like it could be a looping animation. But if anything like this were to ever happen on Earth, Area 51 is where it would most likely take place, so I'm not entirely discounting the legitimacy of this video. This one you'll have to see to believe. Published in April of 2011, this bizarre and scary video appears to have captured a ghost floating into the sky. The short clip, which was filmed in a cemetery in Indonesia, shows a strange figure dressed in white walking across the cemetery at night. Nothing too unusual could just be someone in a hooded robe, maybe a creepy ritual ceremony of some kind. The scary figure is hunched over as it makes its way slowly across the grounds. Then it comes to a pause and holds in place for a moment, but that moment is brief as it suddenly launches straight up into the sky and out of view. The footage looks completely authentic in my opinion, and I'm unsure if it's not real how this would have been produced. If this doesn't make you believe in ghosts, I don't know what well, a YouTuber named Leviathan has an old barn in the woods where scary noises have been coming from late at night. Many sleepless nights later, he works up the courage to take a friend with him to investigate the strange sounds coming from the haunted barn in the woods. When he goes inside, he finds that the barn is not haunted like he thought. It's something way worse than that. Would someone tell me what this is, writes Leviathan. It's an unknown creature sighting to him, but I've seen enough scary videos to immediately guess what it is. The Rake. He lets the scary creature have the barn and doesn't go outside for two months until one night he hears it making scary noises in the woods, much closer this time, as in right by his house. Against his better judgement, he takes an old busted flashlight outside for a final creature sighting he'll never forget. Crouched behind a tree making hideous hissing clicking sounds is the rake, the same creature he caught on camera in the barn. He keeps a respectable distance but it's not far enough. Who knows how fast this thing can run, especially on all fours. Luckily for him it hangs back in the forest and lets him run home. Both of these videos were taken in 2020 and seems to be part of a new wave of rake sightings from all over the world. High quality videos of the rake like this one are cropping up all over YouTube and they are not grainy at all. Hopefully this new rash of creature sightings is a video editing trend and not an indication that mysterious creatures are creeping out of the woods. Creepy right? Who is standing at the end of the hallway? Published by Find Ghost in December of 2021, this short clip captures a ghost girl on camera in a haunted home. As ghost hunters are searching around this room, the camera pans around. Look closely at the end of the hallway. A creepy figure can be seen standing there with long white hair and a darkened face. When the cameraman pans back a moment later, the figure is gone. Would you leave, the caption says. I'm already gone. A YouTube channel called Nathan's Junction goes exploring at an abandoned house in Nepal, one with a twist. This is where his grandfather used to live until he succumbed to medical problems, at which point this place in the woods became haunted. It's a long and treacherous walk through the forest to get there. A fallen tree is the only way to cross the river, and he keeps thinking something is behind him multiple times. The house is old and sinking and taken over by bats long ago. He sets up a second camera to catch any activity outside of the house, and then he steps inside. <laughs> Sorry.
At the exact moment Nathan thinks he hears something moving nearby, the outside camera detects the movement of a shadowy figure, a ghost in the window. Could this be his grandfather coming to say hello? <laughs> After that, Nathan begins hearing strange noises that you never want to hear coming from the woods. He knows he isn't alone at this point and goes outside to check the second camera for paranormal evidence. Some kind of object falls over by itself from deeper inside the house, almost like the ghost of his grandfather doesn't want him to leave just yet, or maybe the bats knock something over. Either way, the timing is creepy. Nathan senses something above and shines his flashlight at the roof. He doesn't see anything, and I'm sure you don't either, but keep watching this area because you will. He inverts the colors with a special filter, and within the negative image you'll see a head pop up at 25 minutes and 52 seconds, and then something runs across the roof. He is in some scary woods, so this could have just been a wild animal, but considering this is the final resting place of his grandfather, it could be his long lost relative watching him leave. Tell me what you think he caught on camera that night. A remote controlled robot is inspecting a 42 inch sewer pipe for anything out of the ordinary when it comes across a creepy find that will make your skin crawl. The water looks relatively clear at first, but then the camera operator looks down in time to see a wriggling mass of giant worm-like creatures the size of snakes. They are piled up so high that they almost breach the surface. I have no idea what these are, nor do I have any idea what so many are doing down here. Someone please help me identify what these creatures are, and while you're at it, let me know what the odds are of one climbing through the sewer pipes and into my home. This footage was apparently found inside the Penhurst Asylum, which is a real abandoned place located in Pennsylvania. The footage contains two students exploring the clearly abandoned building, and while nothing too bizarre happens in this footage, the backstory and timing are enough to make you scream. The two student explorers were never seen again after this. Well, that is terrifying enough. I want you to focus on the timestamp in the corner. Notice how they are ending up in new spots in the asylum at a faster and faster rate. Near the end of the video, the pair end up in the forest at a rate where the speed they are traveling is simply inhuman. What do you think is happening here? If this footage is real, then it is a case where the happenings would never be believed, if not for it being recorded. In the moment, you might not catch some unexpected apparition appearing around you. It's only when you play that moment back that you find it. Published by William Villas in September of 2013, he writes in Malé, This video was filmed on August 3, 2013 when we were waiting for the troops to have a video clip that was still unavailable. The video shows a group of men sitting and talking in the darkness. They appear to be sitting in a stairwell as they laugh completely oblivious to what's going on around them. You see a girl dressed in white with long black hair and shoulders hunched forward pass by slowly at the top of the stairway. The men must not have noticed in the moment as they continue on as usual, but they sure must have gotten the scare of their lives when they watch this clip back later on, only to make this mysterious and unexpected discovery. Once you see the apparition, you watch it again, over and over, because you can't look away from it. Jim Lin is visiting Harbin, Japan, and now faces bowl after bowl of gourmet insects. The pressure is on to sample the culture by eating as many different dishes as he can. At 4 minutes and 1 seconds, the juices of a plump cicada hits the back of his throat with a loud squirt. The insides look wet and green, and not like something I would look forward to trying. How would you even tell if this was cooked right? But there's still more bugs to eat. This oversized grasshopper looks more like a crayfish. They are in a busy market with music and people having conversations everywhere, and yet the crunch is louder than anything else going on. 
When in Rome, do as the Romans do is an age-old expression that means you should follow the rules of other cultures in their country, but I don't think everyone could handle this bug buffet. It may just make your jaw drop. This video begins with a YouTuber named Hallie trembling in the corner while recording a toy car on the opposite end of the room. It's possessed, she declares in a timid voice. Eventually, she gets the courage to move across the room to record it up close. The car's lights are blinking rapidly and it's making a weird humming noise. Suddenly, it springs to life. Please shut it off. I'm not sure if this is a remote controlled car or not, but I don't think so because I don't see an antenna. Also, I think I see red buttons on the back for making sound effects, and Hallie wasn't touching any of those buttons. In fact, she was all the way across the room when it turned on by itself, so I really don't know how this could have happened. According to her, everyone else in the house was asleep. Definitely be sure to let me know what you think is happening in this video. This hauntingly scary video was taken during a ceremony in the desert of Saudi Arabia. Look closely or you'll miss the scary stuff. First, pay attention to how the flames bend without any wind. Any gust of wind blowing the flames this hard should be kicking up sand and moving the branches of the nearby bush, but it's not. Then, after 16 seconds, a bizarre phantom apparition begins to materialize in the circled area. What's beyond creepy is this scary face that appears at 18 seconds and never fully goes away. A still image taken at 19 seconds reveals a floating face with a big nose and strong chin. Freaky, right? Or maybe it's just a lens flare from the flames. Still, the timing is a little bit too coincidental to not at least briefly consider the paranormal. When four teens disappeared in August of 2008 in Melbourne, Australia, a local search party discovered this found footage in November of the same year, near an abandoned hospital. Shortly after, it apparently began making rounds on Australian news outlets. At the start of the video, the boys appear to be cruising down a highway then further down a dirt road. At one point, they exit the vehicle, and they think they hear a sound coming from the darkness. In that area, they saw sounds coming. They approach a gate with a sign that says private property, no trespassing. They ignore it. They find a hole in the fence and decide to enter anyway. As they're walking along in the dark, they come across a red substance splattered on the ground. Regardless, they continue on, and that's where the footage ends. A walk into the darkness. They were never seen or heard from again. If you have any info on their whereabouts, please visit missingpersons.gov.au. The adventurer Abdullah al Bari is back, this time exploring an underground tank that's said to be the place of many experimental rituals. Something happens to his camera at 10 minutes and 10 seconds, immediately followed by this noise. And as the same thing happens again exactly 13 seconds later, which I think indicates a paranormal presence is near. But the strongest evidence occurs when they recite this opening passage and get a terrifying response. <laughs> Judging from the spirit's reaction, it sounds like the prayer recital causes its, its monumental agony. Scotty, the NJ medium, is holding a ghost hunting expedition when he thinks he hears a growling noise. He wants the ghost to reveal itself, and that's when things do not go as they'd expected. What's the name of the person growling? The door opens, but what happens next is a total surprise. The spirit box says who's knocking, followed by two taps at the door. Obviously, no one is standing on the other side because you'd be able to see them easily. Yo, are you kidding? 
Scotty and his team admit they're not sure if the door was latched shut or not, but they say there's no wind. I'm pretty sure I can hear wind though, so I'll turn the sound up and you tell me what you think. <laughs> There's not a lot of information available about this video, besides that it was broadcast live somewhere in Albania. Two radio personalities are having a spirited discussion when suddenly they are interrupted by something that neither of them can explain. <laughs> A newspaper flies up on its own in the middle of their conversation, and you don't have to speak the language to see the genuine surprise written all over the man's face as it happens. Still, I would really appreciate it if anyone who speaks Albanian could tell me what was being said or tell me more about their show if you recognize them. I've watched this video many times and I see no strings attached to the newspaper or anything like that. Obviously, it can't be magnets either. So if it's not magnets or string, then what could it possibly be besides a haunting? A group of British friends are playing catch in a courtyard. When one of them sees something strange and points it out to the others, the camera follows his gaze and stops on a pale face looking at them from high above. The sickly person looks at them for a second longer before silently slipping out of view. The group is now creeped out and wants to know who has been spying on them this whole time. They tell the property manager about the face they saw in the window, but she says that it's impossible. The room they are talking about has been locked and unoccupied for quite some time. The manager goes up with them to unlock the door and show them around. They try and find the person, but the place is completely empty. There's no way anyone could have been up there, yet the camera obviously says differently. The mysterious peeper has never been identified. Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is exploring this scary house with ghosts, and he's in for a real boo. While searching what looks like a storage area of the home, he falls to the ground. <laughs> In fact, it looks like he breaks clean through the ground, and he does. The disturbance is captured from another room. A mysterious anomaly is seen in that same storage room. And that anomaly may be getting aggressive with him. But nothing is there, or so it seems. Just as he's decided to leave, he's confronted by the ghost again. <laughs> One actually might think it's an earthquake, if not for the terrifying knowledge that this place is haunted. Later, he hears a whole lot of ruckus again and goes to investigate, when, behind him, there's a growl. What sort of beast is in here with Dennis? I don't think that's a ghost. Sounds more like a demon to me. As it turns out, nostalgia isn't always a good thing. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hey There, you are okay, the Redditor explains. So I was going through my old 3DS photos for nostalgia. The reason why I'm posting on this sub is because I'm not for sure if I caught anything in the background. Do you think it's younger me being scared? 
The video clip shows an empty bedroom. As he starts to scan the room, the video captures a dark room beyond. It's hard to tell if there's a window in that room. However, something appears to move there, or at least a shadow is cast that mimics movements. The camera passes upward to the ceiling, and when it returns to the closet, the shadow and light has changed a bit. But it's the next time the camera pans from one side to the other that the real change occurs. Explain these unknowable shadows. What is going on here? Is there something or someone in that room? No wonder the Redditor was freaked out. Ready to explore one of Ohio's most dangerous abandoned places? Neither am I. Let's leave it up to Urbex Dane, who published this urban exploration of Elderwood in August of 2017. According to Dane, this street is one of the most dangerous areas in this half-abandoned city. Willing to take the risk, he entered an empty building on the creepy abandoned Cleveland Street. While well inside, a truck pulls up. The truck starts beeping and is playing music loudly. Still, Urbex continues exploring but peers out a second-story window to see who's there. It's not clear what this dude's purpose is. And that strangeness is turned up a notch when a group enters as Dane continues through the home. Unsure of what to do, he waits. Are these just more urban explorers? Or is something more nefarious going on? He creeps out into the hall, which is empty, as is the stairwell, and yet he doesn't leave. Instead, he heads upstairs. Down another stairwell, he hears this. That's where his battery runs out. Don't worry, he survived, but he doesn't know what was going on or who these strangers were. Many are noting in the comments that this could very well have been dangerous, and he was lucky he got out of there alive. The Camino de la Mirte, or Road of Fate, lies in Bolivia along a 50-mile, rocky, narrow downhill road the pass is so dangerous that the Inter-American Development Bank deemed it the most dangerous in the world in 1995. Somewhere between 200 to 300 people perish each year on this road. In this video, a bus driver attempts to traverse it to his own detriment. The road, which had recently suffered heavy rain, was prone to landslides, making the crossing even riskier business than usual. After ordering his passengers off the bus for safety's sake, they watch in terror as the driver attempts to creep across a very shaky and crumbling stretch of sand and rock, one that should not be crossed. The passengers attempt to help guide him, with one man in the video moving forward to motion that the driver move further away from the edge. It appears as if the bus will be successful in completing this crossing. But suddenly, the ground crumbles beneath it, and the bus tips, falling over the cliff, through the trees, and down the mountain. While it's fortunate that the 50 passengers survived their devastating journey, sadly, their driver did not. Poncho is patrolling his campus as a security guard when he and his partner see some strange activity coming through the window. The lights are flashing on and off at the same time in every last room on the first floor. It looks like they are standing outside documenting the event instead of rushing straight in. And you know what, I don't blame them because I would definitely wait for backup if I saw this too. Or maybe I would try to find some non-haunted places to work at instead. This house is supposedly haunted, and the family room reportedly has the most activity out of anywhere. As you can see in this close-up shot, there is nothing out of the ordinary about this mirror at all. But once the paranormal investigation is underway, a woman's colorless face appears in the upper left quadrant. She is staring directly at the camera with two black holes for eyes. 
Her thin lips and nose clearly visible. As far as I can see, there is nothing in the room that could cast such a strangely vivid reflection. This video comes from a YouTube channel in Poland called The Slamming Door, which was named after a loud poltergeist who frequents a small home in Europe. The owner of the home eventually sets up cameras in all of the main rooms to capture the highly aggressive spirit in action. Everything looks normal in this bedroom until about 50 seconds into the video when the poltergeist demands to be acknowledged. It targets a video game collection and sends cases to the floor. This could have been done with a string, but watch again and it does look like an invisible entity swipes everything off the shelf in one smooth motion with their arm. Also, this is a fairly big gaming collection, so if this was fake, you'd think they would knock over something less expensive that they didn't collect or otherwise care about the condition of. This final video is what finally drove them out of the house once and for all. They enter only to find the house has been trashed, and it seems like a spirit is following them around as they explore room to room. They return to the same bedroom in the previous video, and something is in there with them that makes them jump. On the way out, the kitchen light swings wildly, and a chair briefly pulls out on its own. I wish they would have recorded the entire room so we could verify that no one was in there with them, but they were obviously in too much of a hurry to fully document the occurrence. What happens when the truth can't be found and footage cannot be simply explained? Published by Luke Jones in November of 2013. This video may just reveal a real-life Savannah vampire. Jones writes, Was reviewing the CCTV and couldn't believe my eyes. Had to put it on YouTube. The video clip shows a few customers in a flip-flop shop in Savannah, Georgia. On one wall, a mirror is mounted for customers to check out their style in flops. You can see a female customer reflected in the mirror as she sits on a nearby bench texting, and you can see a male customer perusing flip-flops beside her. One man passes by the mirror and is accurately reflected. A short while later, another man dressed in all black passes by the mirror as well, only this time, no reflection. Wait, I know. What? I know. Like, How is that? I don't know. It's the male and female customers are still reflected properly in the mirror, but the men dressed in black, nada. What is this wizardry? It could be unexplainable, and we may never know. This strange creature sighting while exploring an abandoned house deserves more attention and a closer analysis. An urban explorer is walking down the hallway when they see a small black object move in response to being caught on camera. It looks like an unknown creature at first. I can make out the reflective surface of what could be an eye, but it kind of looks like somebody is moving like a stuffed animal or something. Most people in the comments are saying that strange creatures are known to hide in abandoned buildings and believe this video is real. Only a very small amount of people seem to think this is flat out fake, so I was wondering what you think of this video. I think it could be real, but I'd be more willing to believe that this is a kid's doll moving on its own, which is just as creepy as a real creature sighting would be, if not creepier. This video shows a concerned sister checking in on her sleeping sibling. I'm not sure why she would be holding a camera to do so, but I guess she wanted to record the moment. A girl she has never seen before is hovering over her sister's bed without saying a word, and when she turns to leave to get help, the ghostly child teleports in the doorway to block her. Are you alright? Oh my god! The girl standing in the door does look like the same girl who is just standing by the bed. They are wearing the same outfit and have the exact same hair length and color, so I guess it's possible that this was a spirit. Then again, if this was staged, then maybe there was a second girl who was standing in the doorway the whole time to make it look like they teleported. This double doll haunting recently occurred somewhere in South America. Two girls are happily talking to the camera while clutching their Barbie dolls. They are admiring their toys when suddenly their toys admire them back. Both dolls twist their head all the way around to look at the girls, who scream and throw their possessed toys to the floor. You can clearly see that the girls are not holding the dolls, 
anywhere near their heads when they start to move, so maybe it is real after all. If anyone can translate what these girls were saying, then perhaps it will help us figure out if this video is fake or legitimate after all. I don't know if this creature meant to swim up to them, but it did, and so they bring it on the pier. Yep. You watching it swimming? Mm-hmm. That thing is freaky. I think it's a giant worm, but at the same time, I can almost see an alien-like face here at one minute before it goes out of focus. It's looking up at him, and here are the eyes, and this is the mouth, and what that slime is, I simply don't know. Everyone needs to help me to identify this thing, otherwise it's no sleep for me tonight, I'm afraid. The next time you gaze up into the serene night sky, you might experience a feeling of panic instead of peace. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by After Performance 2, the Redditor explains that these strange lights were seen in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina last year on July 19th. The lights were grouped in threes, and according to the Redditor, some disappeared before she could capture them on video. The video shows a trio of lights floating overhead in the sky, and a moment later, another trio closer to the horizon off in the distance. The sets of lights don't float in strict formation, but seem to each be wavering at their own pace. They then flicker and disappear. Redditor Professional Truck 3 suggests that these were paper lanterns lit and then launched from the beach, but the 70s kids negates that, saying if these were lanterns, they'd drift apart. Well, some say the wind is obviously taking the lanterns in the same direction, after Performance 2 theorizes that they're all going to the same destination. Another Redditor, Buster Blevins, chimes in proposing that this is not necessarily a unique occurrence. He wrote, Last Friday, a bunch of people saw something very similar to this in northern Wisconsin. The lights would appear in groups of three, and it was as if there was a pattern that looked like the light was traveling in a circle around something. Any other theories as to what these strange lights could be? Something is taking a hold of Michael in this haunted home. Published by D-Doc Michael, the first thing this paranormal explorer finds is this unsettling sickle. After resheathing it, he continues his exploration, only to soon be disturbed by strange noises. The noises continue, reminding him that he's not alone. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Huh? He hears a wrestling while he's outside. Inside, he hears something else. Then, while he's arranging some coffee cups, it seems as though he's been shocked. He asks the spirits to speak with him, but they don't answer. Although he does seem to hear something behind him, he follows it down a dark hallway into this room. Something seems to be happening to Michael, though it's unclear what. He returns to the same area to address the spirits, but it seems like the spirits don't want to talk. Instead, they get aggressive. What is taking hold of Michael? Whatever it is seems to want him to remain there forever. I think that's the cue to leave. While exploring this haunted place, this paranormal crew discovers that entities manifest in the mirrors. Published by Albert of the Arch, they search the home when they spy this. While the white object looks spooky at first, hanging there in the hallway when they approach, they find it's a piece of paper posted on a door. As they continue their search and discover a door to an attic above moving on its own. Okay. Bueno, pero eso puede ser el viento. Está en un en este en el exterior, entonces se cuela el aire con eso. Later, while they're all in one room, a shadow passes by a mirror in the adjacent room. No one is there. They don't know what to make of it. Pues sabes que uno de los implementos que me gusta muchísimo para este tipo de de lugares 
que me gusta muchísimo para este tipo de que me gusta muchísimo para este tipo de muchísimo para este tipo de Not long after, while they're speaking over a statue of Jesus, a faint scream is heard in the background. Is that scream coming from the entity in the mirror? Sounds like it wants out. Cuando estas energías vienen a la luz, ya no pueden salir. Es, se hace como un, una especie de lugar eh, que los bloquea, ¿sí ¿sabes? Uh -huh. When exploring the deepest depths of a mine shaft, the last thing you want to run into is the paranormal. Proving demons claim their crew did just that. Publishing this video recently in May of 2019, the YouTube team writes, During a routine exploration of an abandoned mine shaft and railway tunnel, we saw something unbelievable as we turned a corner into a tunnel. The mine itself is creepy enough. You can hear water running and dripping. It's muddy dark. And to put it simply, it's not a place you'd want to meet another being passed away or alive, and about 17 minutes into the exploration video, it appears they do. A light can be seen in the dark distance. What the hell is that? Is this a mine? I don't know. You guys, what the heck? Why is there a light down here? We can't walk through that. Is there noise there? Why is there a light at the end of this mine shaft? Only the ghost holding its candle could answer that. The team doesn't stick around to find out, and who can blame them? The fact that a light was visible so deep in the mine gives me no other choice but to believe this is paranormal. An abundance of paranormal activity means Stephanie Elmager is never truly home alone. I'm gonna walk around my house. The reason I'm filming this right now is I'm trying to catch some paranormal activity on my recorder. As you can see, there is nobody in my house. Do you hear that? My TV just came on. A kid's program politely tells her to get out of the house, and then the lights turn on by themselves. Oh, and the alarm just went off. Do you see this? There is nobody in this house. The TV just came on. Holy. If that was a ghost, give me another sign. Anything, anything, you gotta be kidding me. Does everybody see that? She crosses the kitchen to show us where the light switches are and... There is nobody in this house. Look, the lights are right there. If anybody at all, I'm gonna turn it off. It was even up. Look, if anybody, holy oh, what the a bedroom is haunted by a pale figure with a long, crooked neck who is either standing behind or on top of her bed. When she does a double take, she finds it much closer now, peering at her from around the door. Oh my god. Okay, I don't get scared very often. Oh. That just freaks me out. Okay. Let's walk back in there. I agree with her completely. I saw it too, so either this is a real ghost sighting, which I'm almost sure it is, or we are both losing our minds. I am not losing my mind. There is nobody in here, look. There is nobody anywhere. This video of a shaky, alien-looking pod looks like it really shouldn't exist anywhere on planet Earth, let alone some random person's basement. The way it moves from left to right without being touched makes me think that some strange life form is about to burst forth. Most of the comments agree that this could be some sort of egg or cocoon with a foreign host inside. Note how strange furry hair seems to protrude from sections of its hardened exterior, further indicating that this is in fact a living organism of some kind. The video ends before we can see what hatches, but whatever it is, I just hope it isn't something that is harmful. Britton Smith is hanging around her door room when she notices something is apparently laying in bed with her. An invisible force appears to be pressing up and down on the flowery design of her covers, right before her very eyes. I will admit that it's hard to tell if something is on top of the covers or simply underneath. 
in which case it could be anything and not necessarily paranormal. Britton Smith describes this as a ghost in her dorm room, but I'd like to know if you agree with her or not. If you ever get lost in your own little world while driving, you may be missing out. Fear is right outside your window. YouTuber Nabs Maya captured this unusual figure on camera, and they are disturbed by it. Watch closely. There's no cars are coming. What they're looking at is that bright pale figure in the middle of the field. It appears to be standing idle. Though the camera is shaky, the figure doesn't move. You can even see a bird fly past it, undisturbed. What is this thing? It's difficult to tell from such a distance. I think it could be anything. A person, a scarecrow, even a ghost. But these guys are going to have to get closer to test out my theories. Bah humbug. Published by D Dark Past Scary in February of 2022 and originally posted to TikTok by Naoa Tankinoshita. Something mysterious is happening in this guy's house. He enters the living room where a Christmas tree is set up, lights twinkling. No one is there, but as he turns around the room, an object is thrown from a shelf. When he goes to retrieve it, he finds the phone has been broken. As he turns on the lights and opens the doors, more activity happens behind him, and finally right in front of him. Even as he flees outside, the spirit isn't done with him yet. Does this spirit have no holiday spirit? Or is it the ghost of Christmas past? In 2014, a YouTuber was finishing up a hiking trail in Fernie, British Columbia, when an unwanted intruder decided to make him its intended prey. That is a mountain lion. And he's stalking me. A wild mountain lion emerges from the tall brush with its head low to the ground, ready to pounce. The man instinctively turns and runs, but then he regains his wits and stops to confront his aggressor. I am much bigger than you. I'm way bigger than you. The young mountain lion seems surprised at this bold reaction, but then it quickly blends into its surroundings again and regains the upper hand. Eventually, it's spotted again a few more times as it prowls along the trail close by. The two eventually end up staring at each other from a short distance. As the showdown comes to a tense close, the mountain lion seems unsure and eventually wanders off. It may have lost for now, but in another year or two, I'm sure the animal would have undoubtedly grown into a much larger threat. A girl is coloring in the living room when her papers blow away despite there being no breeze. Even if the windows are open, the curtains behind her do not move, so this simply shouldn't happen indoors. When the little girl comes back to stare in utter confusion, it just gets worse. The room is silent, no fans are on, so how does this happen? If this is real, then it definitely has to be the work of a poltergeist. Maybe it's already even attached to her. Something is buried in the debris of this house. Published by Proving Demons in December of 2021, these paranormal explorers couldn't last the whole night in this very haunted house. Immediately upon entering, they see that this house houses some strange stuff. They soon start to hear creepy noises as well. I know, so just stick close to me. What was that they also think they hear walking upstairs. Yo, is there somebody in here? As they're looking up the stairs, they start to hear a woman's voice humming. 
They don't encounter whatever is making the noise, but later as they're about to use a paranormal device, they hear another strange sound. A second sound follows as they're trying to make their way through all the garbage to leave. Come with me. They manage to get out of the place, and maybe just in time. It's every urban explorer's worst nightmare. YouTuber exploring with Danny apparently uncovered four bodies while exploring this abandoned place. His dog came across them first. Diesel! Diesel, what are you doing, boy? After entering, Danny realizes he's happened upon a grim scene. Oh my Hello? I want to think it's fake, but Danny's reaction seems all too real. A YouTuber named The Modern Mombi is sipping her coffee while pumping gas while she notices someone watching her get into her car. She lets it slide until she sees him looking at her again. But yeah, he keeps peeping us. She is making a video probably in the hopes that it will make him too ashamed to continue. But he looks straight at her and seems to smirk. It's a weird and creepy expression that he has no excuse to keep making if they are strangers. Maybe he thinks he recognizes her, but if that were the case, staring at her instead of saying hello is rude and suspicious to say the least. Then again, maybe the camera is the only thing keeping him from being more intrusive. He eventually gets in the car and drives away. That's when she realizes she's in her work uniform and hopes he won't be staring at her sometime soon at her job. Nothing will make you want to skip work more than this next video. Published by Real Ghost in September of 2015, this ghost was captured in an office one night. The video shows a darkened room. As the camera pans around, a semi-transparent robed figure appears in a window to the kitchen. When the camera quickly pans back, the figure is no longer there. Are we dealing with an office ghost straight from Tales of the Crypt? He's definitely not here to do some light paperwork. A YouTube channel called Outdoor Adventures encounters some creepy activity in the woods that some viewers are certain is paranormal. It happens during the first night of a camping trip. He's looking into the distance when there's a brief burst of movement coming from over his shoulder. He suspects that this could be some deer running behind him, but I think it looks more like a ghost encounter because of its pale color and formless shape. Ordinarily, I would say that this was steam from his breath, except this was taken in the middle of summer in north central Pennsylvania, so it's obviously too warm out. And I don't think he's making up the date because it's warm enough that he doesn't need a jacket. So that's surprising and all. But there's one more scary part to this video that I'm sure you won't expect. Did you happen to see the eyes watching over his shoulder at 2 minutes and 17 seconds? Because whatever this is, sure sees the camera. It's odd eyes spaced across an unseen face, much larger than yours or mine. you do if you kept finding food disappearing from your fridge at night? That's what kept happening to old Foggy John. And when he set up a security camera, he was shocked at what he found. Trending in the Brazilian YouTube community via the YouTube channel EXTV, this video's original source is old Foggy John on both YouTube and TikTok. Let's take a look at the footage. This home invader does not look human, and even the cat to the right recognizes that.
First, the creature pokes its head through the window and appears as though it might attempt to climb in. Then it slinks back out for unknown reasons. Did this creature know it was on camera? Its red, bulging veins, dark, otherworldly skin, and glowing eyes makes me think it's not of this world. But is it a demon? I can't answer definitively, as I assumed their only appetite was for human soul. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.